Meanwhile, a United Nations report says violence against children caught in multiplying and escalating conflicts reached extreme levels in 2023. It points at a surge in child deaths and injuries in and of children in Sudan, Israel and Ukraine, besides Myanmar and other countries. <laughs> The United Nations annual children in armed conflict report accounts for just part of the total number of deaths and injuries of children in over the last year. On the Israel and Hamas conflict, the UN verified 8,009 grave violations against children in Israel, Gaza and the West Bank. Over 4,200 were Palestinian children, 113 were Israeli. 47 Israeli children have been abducted by the Hamas and other Palestinian groups. The United Nations says 43 Israeli children were killed in Israel and the West Bank during the October 7th attacks. Israeli armed and security forces have been blamed for 5,698 violations. Hamas's armed wing, the Is Al Din Al Qasam brigades, are named for 116 cases. Israeli settlers were judged responsible in 51 cases and Palestinian Islamic Jihad's Al-Quds brigades was deemed involved in 21. The report also finds grave abuses by Israeli forces in the West Bank, with 126 Palestinian children killed and 906 detained. The UN verified five cases where soldiers used boys to shield forces during law enforcement operations. Between the 7th of October and the end of December last year, the UN verified the killing of 2,051 Palestinian children. The report noted that most incidents were caused by the use of explosive weapons in populated areas by Israeli armed and security forces. The report conceded it reflected only a partial picture of the situation in Gaza. UN chief Antonio Guterres called the report appalling. On a positive note, though, the Secretary General reported progress in engaging with blacklisted governments and armed groups to protect children. Afghanistan, Burkina Faso, Central African Republic and Nigeria are among the countries to be taken off the blacklist. The UN chief said governments and armed groups must work with the UN to develop an action plan to address violations and the implementation of it. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.